Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to talk about how to use the Refine Edge tool in Adobe Photoshop. Um, you might want to use the Refine Edge tool because when you're cropping out an image, sometimes you can do it fairly quickly using, um, you know, and you don't have to be that uh, close to the image that you're using. You can do a rough crop, basically, and then use the Refine Edge tool to get a little bit closer. It's also great for when you've selected an image and you've gotten very close to what you want, and then you want a little bit of uh, sort of a blending with that image, with a background image, to create a feathering effect, things like that. There's a variety of uses, but I'm going to cover basically how to use it, the basics. So uh, first thing that you want to do, select the image that you want to crop. Um, for this example, I'm going to do a very rough crop of uh, the picture of me here using the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to go right around my body like this. And double click. And it will uh, connect the lines. So now I've got this rough, very rough uh, um, outline of my body it's, that's been um, selected. Um, I'm going to go to image. And I'm going to select, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to select and I'm going to go to refine edge. So now here it's just uh, taken the actual selection and uh, it'll allow me to adjust the borders and the actual edge of where uh, I made that selection. So um, you have the adjust edge tool here. Um, all these menu options will allow you to change the way that edge looks. Smooth is basically going to figure out when you have these choppy little points in your selection, it's going to figure out uh, where those points are and, and just smooth it down, which is a nice, uh, nice tool. Feathering is going to create um, a blending. As you can see, it sort of blurred the lines uh, outside of my shirt and things like that. So you uh, would like to keep the feathering sort of low if you want to maintain the integrity of the original picture. Contrast is going to build out the color and really keep it um, sort of a strong image. Feathering and contrast usually need to be um, sort of ha handled delicately. And then uh, shift edge will allow you to actually move the edge uh, closer or further away from the image itself. You can select a, a variety of these different options here, kind of play with it, see what you like. Depending on how you intend to use the Refine Edge tool, all of those different options in there can be used for different things. But those are the basics. That's the basics of how to use the Refine Edge tool in Adobe Photoshop. My name is Justin Conway, and I hope that helped. Thanks.